Welcome back everybody to Shooting Gallery New England. We appreciate you swinging by and today we have a revisit of the Glock 19 Gen 3. So Glock 19, I do have to, I do decide to carry it for my work gun for my employment. I do carry uh, out the waistband for a armed security job. Now, now in the last video we made of the original review of this gun, which the card is going to be somewhere around here. We used like Winchester white box. We used, uh, I think a little bit of a Gila 124 and just to like see how we were for accuracy. I wasn't getting the accuracy I wanted. So I kind of was like poo poo in the Glock 19. Yes, I know everyone's like, oh dude, the Glock 19 is the best gun ever. Some people just can't shoot the gun well. It does have two by four ask, but it is the most proven handgun. That's why I'm giving it a second chance. So I went to my local FFL and they had this brand of ammunition, Atlanta Arms Select. This is 115 grain J uh, FMJ or you know, ball round. And funny story, I filmed this video last time I went to the range like two weeks ago and my audio mic had a malfunction. So I felt had all the range footage I had was pretty much lost. So for those who are wondering, yes, this is a unloaded gun. Nothing's in the mag well and nothing's in the chamber. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some of the accuracy potential out of Glock 19. Again, this has the Rock Slide USA upper receiver, part of the upper slide and their barrel. Very decent barrel. And uh, I got a couple, I got like four or five mags loaded up. And we're going to see how good this ammunition is. I did like the performance of it last time. So, let's get right into it, all right? All right, guys, so I do apologize for some of the gunshots in the background. I am at my local gun club today, so there's a lot of people, other people shooting. Uh, but thank God it's not that hot out today. I woke up this morning, thought I was going to be humid as hell. Here in Mass, we've been dealing with a crap done of humidity and heat, big time heat waves. So I think everyone's finally realizing, I'm like, oh, get outside today. So I'm at the outdoor range. I'm about 15 yards away from the target. And let's see how the first 10 rounds add up, all right? We got 10 rounds here of nine millimeter, the Atlanta Arms Select 115 grain ball. Make sure this is in camera view, you know? All right, so let's get down range and see how this works, all right? All right, so guys, like I said, I'm not the best pistol shooter. It's always takes practice, but considering what I was getting, this is where the first shot hit, which typically, God forbid, in a self-defense scenario, if you can end it in one shot, that's good. We got the money shot right here. Second shot was up here. Got a little bit wonky up here, but then I got a nice group of like six shots all in around the same area. Then I have two flyers down here. So guys, this is, I uh, actually call that four flyers when I'm looking at the holes. So this is improving, cold bore shots. So let's uh, load up another mag and see what else other accuracy potential we can get, all right? Alright guys, so just so you guys know, I am carrying the gun while I'm walking back and forth and my, my Eclipse holster is Delta Wing IWB appendix rig. So, links for that review is going to be in a card up here. Go check Eclipse holsters out, okay guys? So, what we are going to do is load up another 10 rounds of Atlanta Arms Select. 55, uh, not 55 grain. I was shooting some 5.56 earlier today filming. I've done a lot of filming today, guys, so bear with me. Um, so we're going to do some 115 grain Atlanta Arm Select and see how we're doing again. That's perfect. Okay, so it's getting even better. I'm gonna do one more shot and I'm gonna show you 
how this is working. And if you're wondering, let me adjust the camera a little bit because I loaded up actually a few mags for this one. This is one of my, I don't know how well the camera can pick it up, but I have two mags holding here and a chi tech mag carrier. So let's get another 10 rounds down range, all right? There we go. get one more mag and we're going to visit the target and again guys I am trying to slow my shots down I tend to shoot very fast and every gun is different so right now I don't even know the round count we're over at least 1500 rounds through this the Atlanta arms select is actually doing very well for my personal opinion it might be off by like you know up to the left a little bit but if i'm aiming center mass uh clint smith over at thunder ranch says it's either you know it might variation a little bit but aim small miss small okay you might miss by a centimeter or an inch or two but if you're aiming center mass in the chest or in the face and it goes either way get them in the eyeball the lung you are in the kill zone I'm not a, I am not a like defensive trainer. I am a firearms instructor and I do tell, you know, help people out when shooting. So don't take anything. I just hear smart people say smart things. So let's get 10 more rounds down range. All right, so let's get down to the target and it is clear. Let's get down to the target and show you my results, all right? Okay, guys, so let's explain this again. The reason why I use this target from Champion is it helps me figure out where my shots are gonna go. So the second mag, I aim center mass and this is where my shots were gonna go. So last video, again, I'm not an expert. I am not an accuracy expert. This is not off a ransom rest. So don't take accuracy on a pistol to scripture because everybody shoots a pistol differently. Now, if I had a P85, you would be a completely different grouping because I shoot that gun the best. The Glock 19, I like the reliability of it. That's why I choose to use it. So again, please, if you're trolling, remember everyone shoots pistols differently. This isn't highly scientific. This is just some dude showing his findings with the ammo he has. So second mag was right here with one flyer. Third mag got a lot better. Groupings, all the shots were right around here except these two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or around here that might be from i think this was from earlier where it had a low flyer so this is the third mag of 10 rounds so accuracy is getting much better now here's the interesting part on the fourth mag let me get out of the camera frame this is where all my shots were you get a nice tighter group again everybody's results is going to be different getting used to the gun is going to be a big thing and we're not using a ransom rest so I definitely say the Atlanta Arms is actually liking, uh, the Glock 19 is liking the Atlanta Arms 55 grain. Oh, wow, 55 grain. Been a long day, guys. I'm sorry about the mess up, but we're not all perfect. Uh, the 115 grain Atlanta Arms Select 50 uh, ball is doing very well. Now, let's load up 10 more rounds, and we're going to kind of close this video out on my final thoughts, all right? All right, guys. So, if you want to get pick up some Atlanta arms again right now with this ammo shortage I don't know where you can get it I'm gonna try if I can find some links to get some Atlanta arms select for you guys I'll throw it down below 
I'm not too sure where they sell. I did find this at my local FFL, but they are on Instagram. Check them out. I'm going to have the Instagram link right around below. So definitely check them out. This is the stuff that's been working for me. Now, got 10 more rounds loaded up. Let's close this video out. I want to thank you all for watching today on Shooting Gallery New England. If you want this channel to keep going and you want the content to keep flowing, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter. We have three, spe uh, three tiers, one, five, and ten dollar level. You don't have to feel obligated to, but it helps keep the light on. We are supported by the viewers, and I thank every single one of you. We get a lot of good perks over there. I try and post very frequently. So again, patreon.com forward slash shooting gallery and e. it's gonna be on the screen right around here and guys thank you again for watching keep shooting and we'll see you next time glock perfection bruh